Hello, my name is Jenny Fen, and I am an applications engineer in the Nexperia Automotive MOSFET team in Manchester. There is an industry trend with 12 volts automotive circuits to move away from traditional fuses as a means of circuit protection. MOSFETs instead can be used in place. This change can bring many benefits such as resetable circuit protection, lower maintenance costs, low battery drain, and many more. In this demo, we will show our LFPAC MOSFET working in a 12 volt switch protection circuit using in a 3 kW DC DC converter, and the design considerations to be aware of by making this change. In this demo, we will show our 12 volt port protection PCB in a 3 kW DC DC converter. The DC DC converter is used in the 48 volts mild hybrid automotive applications. This DC DC converter features a modular construction which suits the purpose of this demo. So, other than the 12 volts port protection PCB, this 3 kW DC DC converter also has the 48 port protection PCB and the DC DC power circuit, which in our case we have 6 in parallel. Other than that, we also have a control PCB. So, for the 12 volts, Port protection PCB, we have MOSFET back to back to consider the reverse connection of the 12 volts battery charge. Notice that we have six sets of parallel MOSFETs with low RDS on, which will reduce the conduction losses. Besides that, we have two more MOSFETs which will pre charge the capacitance of the DC DC converter. In this section, we have connected the 12 volts port protection PCB with a power supply and an electronic load. The voltage of the power supply was set to 40 volts. This is because the cables in this circuit is rather long and there is a noticeable voltage drop in the cables. And let's set the current to 250 amps. Now the current was set to 250 amps. This will fall into the operating area of the 3 kV DC DC converter with a nominal voltage of 12 volts. In our situation, there is no additional cooling connected with the PCB, but in a more realistic design, that would be a heat sink with the PCB, which will transfer the heat from the circuit and result in a much lower temperature rise. So after a few minutes, the temperature of the MOSFET has risen up to about 70 degrees C and the temperature of the PCB is around 50 degrees C. We can see that from this thermal camera. And also, if a cooling system is employed here, the current can be easily sustained. Finally, let's have a look at what happened when the MOSFET being switched off. For example, during a short circuit situation. This is the pulse test bolt, which is used to switch off the MOSFET at a very high current level. And we can see that from the oscilloscope, the red trace showing the drain current of the MOSFET, the green trace showing the VDS drain source voltage of the MOSFET. We can see that when the MOSFET being turned off, the current has reached about 500 amps. The demo uses automotive power MOSFETs from our 8x8mm LFPAC 88 portfolio with devices down to a super low RDS on of 0.55 milliohms and a measured high current rating of up to 500 amps. For the more compact of systems, our enhanced 5x6mm LFPAC 56E package offers 81% space saving from D2 pack alternatives. Nexperia's automotive LF pack MOSFET family brings many benefits due to the innovative copper clip packaging technology, including but not limited to low RDS on, low package inductance, low thermal resistance, and best in class SOA performance. With the tested high current rating 
of up to 500 amps for LF Pack 88s and up to 220 amps in LF Pack 56E. Added miniaturization for the most power demanding, space constrained systems, the LF Pack 88 offers over 50% improved power density and 60% space efficiency compared to D2 Pack alternatives. Thanks for watching. For more information, please visit nixperia.com.